Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Shank is Intact. Joe and I are here this morning. You can see Joe, he's way over here. Uh, we are here this morning at the permission we were at last week. We decided to come back here as a little, uh, just getting out before DIV 56 that's coming up this coming week. I think we're five days away from that. I'm out here this morning with my GPX 4500 with my brand new coil from Fort Bedford Metal Detectors. They hooked it up. Uh, this is the 12 by 15 or 15 by 12 if you want to call it. And this is from the from the mine lab and this is the double D commander coil. Pretty awesome. Well, I just got a deep signal. Dude, this is where I wanted to bring it was back here where we found a bunch of buttons and stuff like that. Well, I just got a deep signal and I saw something round pop out. And I'm pretty sure this morning, first thing, that shank is intact. And I think it had, it definitely was a silver wash button. Oh, my pocket's getting hot. I've got uh, hot hands in my pocket. <laughs> but yeah, so button, first thing this morning. It's pretty awesome. Shank intact. Check it out. See if we can see it here. Here we go. Got some better light now. I'll clean that up later. Check it out. Awesome. Hopefully we find a bunch more today. Maybe some coins. That's what I'm hoping for. Cool. Sun is just coming up. It's about 7 a.m. Yeah. Just said button. Let's see. Oh, 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 cuff button. Nice. Little brass cuff button. Is it engraved? No, just a smoothie. No. No, um. What you call it? Uh, urns on or anything? No. Nope. Still shank intact. It's yeah. pretty sweet. First relic of the day for Joe. Oh, Woo! Yeah. I've got two buttons so far. You saw the first one. Second one was right near it. Still not sure of the GPX if I'm digging iron or digging a, you know, something good. So, you know, I've been swinging it for a few years now, but only a few times a year. So, but usually home sites like this are so loaded with iron. A machine like this just, you know guess isn't fun but that's okay we're still saving history two buttons already they were deep gonna go around here a little bit more before we end up moving back up front but we'll still come back here one day cool all right let's go all right so i've got two flat buttons joe's got that cuff button you saw we uh i'm done digging nails with the gpx i just wanted to try it back here i wanted to really make sure the new coil that i bought was just working right and you know i've never swung it so i want to make sure everything's good on it Setting's good, machine's good, put it away. We're gonna head back up to the front field where the grass is really flat, really flat. And there were still tar all, there, there's gotta still be some targets up there. We're hoping for something. But Joe brought me over here to show me this. Look at the size. Joe, put your foot beside that track right there. Oh, Look at the hand. size of these turkey <clears throat> tracks here. There you go. I mean, that guy has got to be absolutely <laughs> massive. I mean, how big of a turkey is that? Probably. I don't know. I I, I, I don't. I've never turkey hunted, but I yeah. But I've only it. seen turkey prints a few times before, yeah. and they weren't that size. They just it looks like a T Rex. It does. <laughs> I mean, holy cow! Might need to ask the landowners if we can set up a game camera just to just to check it. I don't hunt, but man, it'd be cool to see it. <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully we see you in a few minutes at the next hole with a gold coin in it. That's it. Let's go. All right, we are down here in the other home site on the property, and I'm already on my second button here. Sounded so good. I got five flat buttons now this morning, and all of them have their shanks. So it is a shank intact kind of day. Thought I'd clean this one, rub it some on video, see if it had anything. They never do. The day one of these buttons has got something on this side, I'm going to freak out, I can tell you. Joe just found a button and then a mystery brass item. So this is where we're gonna hammer all day. Shoot, I'm already hungry for lunch. Woof. Cool, let's go. Or a button split in half. Oh, that could be Elizabeth. What's she got? Oh yeah, dude. Dude, the rest of it's gotta be there then. Yeah, because that matches. That doesn't match the piece I dug. That's the other side of what I dug last week. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I'd say pewter button. Sure looks around. Looks close. 
Oh yeah, what's that? Oh, I don't know. I might have to clean this up some and check it out. Cool, huh? All right, down that hole. Maybe some type of mystery item. Almost looks like a little lock though. That's what I think it is. And you see the, the iron U would have been on top there. So I'm guessing it's a little old padlock of some kind. I would think it's super old. It seems to have some type of pattern on it. Cool. I think I'm going to walk down in here and go in these woods just for a minute and see if there's any signals. Now I'm guessing they would have had to go in there to get their water. That's where the creek is. There's a rocky creek, so that's why this house was here. Right, Joe? What's that? That's right. I'm going to call this Buttonville because, I mean, we've dug a few good things, but for the most part, it is just buttons. And some of them, like this one, and you see the color where it was at. Some of them like this one. Look like it still had some gold. Oh yeah. A little bit of gold left on it. See on this side. Nope, just a flatty. But we'll take that, that's for sure. Oh, awesome. Come on, we need some coins. Just said big flat button looks like a design on it let's see oh yeah shank broken off definitely has a back mark oh yeah it's basket weave that's awesome dude that's cool yeah that's mid that's early 18 1820s 1830s somewhere in there yeah look at that yeah it says it says something on the back probably gold probably plated or something like that that's pretty cool man noise Good find, Joe. All right, guys, we are going to call that an end to the day. Looks like just a button kind of day for us today. But uh, Joe did, how many did you find today? 17. 17 buttons for Joe today and 19 buttons for me and a few odds and ends. And uh, this guy that I'm pretty sure it's looks worked. worked. Yeah. That was out of a dig hole. So that's pretty cool. They that's were in here. That's part of a lock, dude. That's yeah, sweet. that's definitely part of a lock. Pretty neat. But yeah. We're gonna call that a, we're gonna call that done, and we will see you guys again in about a week at DIV fifty six. Fifty six. Meow. Do that thing. Poop poop. Pop guys. Hey guys, you want to talk to me one time? I think my song has lasted almost long enough. The subject's interesting, but the rhymes are getting tough.